Hi there, this is Andrea Maury of Dre Renee Knits, and today I'm going to be showing you the honeycomb brioche stitch. So I'm working over a really small amount of stitches here, so I am going to be working in the round by simply keeping this side always facing me. So when I get to the end of a row, I just simply pull my needle through so that I never turn my work, and I'll just leave a strand of yarn connecting me so that I can always start at this end of my needle. And that replicates knitting in the round. So if you've ever had to swatch in the round, that's how you can do it without having to cast on a lot of stitches. So I am going to begin the row holding my hand English style, um, so in my right hand or throwing, and then about halfway through, I'm gonna switch to continental just so that you can see this technique no matter which way you knit. So, this first row, we are simply going to purl one, slip one yarn over all the way to the last stitch, which we will purl. So, starting with English, purl one, For a slip one yarn over, you simply keep your yarn forward, slip your stitch purlwise from your left hand to your right hand needle, and wrap a yarn over around its shoulders. Purl one, slip one, yarn over. Purl one, slip one, yarn over. Purl one, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to continental now. So holding my yarn now in my left hand for continental picking. If you're English, just keep on the way we already established. So continental to slip a stitch, your yarn is forward. Slip one, wrap a yarn over around it, bringing your yarn back in front, ready to purl the next stitch. Slip one, yarn over, purl one. Slip one, yarn over, purl one. So that is the end of my first round. If you were working in the round, let's say on a hat, then you'd already be back to your beginning of round. Since I'm doing a small circumference, small amount of stitches, I'm simply sliding my stitches back to my original needle tip without turning and now I just bring my working yarn across the back so I can start at this end again and that's it that's how you can swatch in the round so for this next round I am going to knit two and then I'm going to slip my yarn over so typically in brioche you never break up these little couples but honeycomb brioche is going to break that rule so I need to knit two. So back to English style, I'm going to knit one and two. And I've got my yarn over just hanging out and I just slip it over. So knit two, one, two, slip my yarn over, knit one, and you can tell which one is the yarn over because it does this big diagonal slant. Two, slip yarn over. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to continental again now for all of my left-handed pickers. And I'm going to knit two, so knit one, two, slip yarn over. Knit one, Two, slip yarn over, knit one, two, slip yarn over, and I just knit this final stitch. For round three, I am going to slip one yarn over, burp one. So basically what we've done is we've put our little yarn over shawl onto the neighbor stitch. And so this is what's going to make our really beautiful honeycomb texture. So for this first stitch, I need to slip one yarn over. So I'm going to bring my yarn in front, slip my stitch, and give it a little yarn over. And then brioche purl these two strands together. So when you see a single guy, 
you need to slip him and wrap a little yarn over around his shoulders. And then these two hugging on each other, we're simply gonna brioche pearl or burp them together. So slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. I am going to switch back to continental now, left-handed picking. Slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. And I'm ending with a single stitch, so I'm going to slip one, yarn over. All right. For the next round, I am going to slip my yarn over and then knit two. So, kind of breaking up my couple here. I'm sorry, I'm going to knit one and then slip my yarn over. So, I've got my couple. I want to knit this one first, leaving my yarn over all by itself. So, knit one, then slip my yarn over, knit two. Slip my yarn over, knit two. Get there, get that to focus a little better. Slip, knit two. You're going to continue doing this across. Slip my yarn over. I'm going to go to continental now. So if you're English, just keep doing what you were doing. All right, for my continental left handed pickers. Knit two, separating that couple, and just slipping that yarn over. Knit two, this one got a little rolled up. Slip one yarn over, and then knit two, and I'll slip my last yarn over here. All right, so now I have to do another slip one yarn over, burp one row. Now, you again can kind of tell if you're supposed to be slipping or burping, because if you spread them out, do you see how you see like these ones are hugging up and these are single? So I'm gonna burp, slip one yarn over, burp, slip one yarn over, all the way across. Again, going back to English for the first few. So I'm starting with a couple here. I'm going to burp one. And then slip pearlwise, wrap a yarn over, burp one. Slip one yarn over, burp one. Slip one. Yarn over, burp one. I'm going to switch to continental, left-handed pickers. I'm at a single stitch, so I slip, give it a little yarn over, and burp. Slip, and burp these two strands. Slip, and burp. So, as you can see, as this grows, you're going to get these nice little kind of cross marks, and as it gets longer, it's going to create this really beautiful honeycomb stitch. So, I hope that you've enjoyed trying that, and I hope you use it in a project soon.